What is up, guys? So this episode, we are going to have so much new equipment. It's going to be insane. Um, we have Farmer Nick on here. We have James on here. First time ever having James on here. James, what's up, my brother? What's up? All the way from South Carolina down there. So James is going to help us out. And we got Farmer Nick up in Canada. And if you guys didn't know that, Farmer Nick lives up in Canada. Actually, he posted a real-life video on Squad Farms. If you guys want to see Farmer Nick like farming in real life, he was... Uh, Doing a little mowing with his little six R over there, so he he enjoyed that. I think, right? Farm, right, Farmer Nick. Oh yeah, it was. I had a blast doing it. Yeah, I didn't mean to call it. I'll call it little. Well, six R is huge. Six R is huge. But speaking of little, we had a baby. We had a baby. Farmer Nick and James, you guys know that? Sure. No. <laughs> they have no idea what I'm talking about. So we had a baby deer on the farm. It was born. It was born recently, and I'll take you guys over by her. Now it's a it's a, basically what it is it's a John Deere garden tractor. It's a John Deere garden tractor from Lone Oaks, um, wherever it is. It's somewhere back here if I can find it. Shop. Oh, yeah. it's at the shop. Okay, we got it in the shop already, but we got my new. Okay, anyways, I'll show you guys that. So we decided to get a seventy four hundred because like today's video, we're just gonna be moving bales all day. So we need two loader tractors. So we did buy a seventy four hundred. Um, the versatile, I think we're gonna get guys. Like I said, we we're gonna buy a lot of equipment, and I think we're gonna get a versatile. You know, Ford and Versatile, I think they had some interaction. I don't know if one bought the other. I think Ford got bought out by, no, Ford got bought out by New Holland. Never mind. Never mind. But we're switching it up a little bit. We're uh, getting Versatile. I kind of like, this is the 2017 style, 2017 version. It looks kind of nice. I don't think we're going to put front duels on it. I kind of like it like this, but this is going to be one of our no another tractors. So James is going to take that away. He's going to go Parker in uh, the shop and... It's a little small, like if you put it up to like the 8300, it's it's a little small, like undersized, but still going to be an awesome tractor to have. Dude, those guys are just crazy driving around over there. And then the 8970, okay, so there was another model that came out of the 89, okay, <laughs> Farmer Dick just ran me over. There was another new model that came out of the 8970, but to be honest, I put it in the game here, and I didn't think that it looked that good. I like our old version of the 8970, so I kept our old version. And that's why it's here. So this is just our old version. We already have this tractor. We didn't get another double 8970. We just, this is our only tractor. So we're, I'm going to take it back to the shop. And let's move bales. We're going to get mowing with uh, the little deer here, the baby deer. And then also, I'm going to finish mowing the side hills while we move bales and stuff. Also in the video. So we got the 8970 here. If you guys are enjoying the video, let me know. So, okay, dude, we, <laughs> we went from having like no equipment to a ton of equipment. Now we have, it's insane how much we have. So I'm probably going to need you guys' help on here. Get a lot of people on here and stuff. Okay. James, do we have room in there for the 89 or should we just put that in a different shed? Okay. Farmer Nick, get my oh, F-350 out of water, man. man. You were, I saw you driving that through the pond over there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, you think we have room in there? Ooh, nah, it might be. Should probably put it in another shed. Yeah. Or I could. Then if you put okay. that in there, you're not going to get anything out. Yeah, okay, here, open that door for me. I'll back it through there, and I'll put it in the far. I should be able to put it in there. We'll see if I have room there. Yeah, uh, you got might... room in there. Okay. There we go, and we got Farmer Nick back there. Coming through. Tell me if I'm going to hit anything. Oh, okay. there we go. Perfect. Okay, we got an angler. Oh, shoot. Oh. There we go. Oh, by the way, guys, we got to throw uh, duels on the 4020 yet and uh, mow some side hills. I want to do that. I really want to do that. So even though we kind of already did it. There we go. So we got the 89 in here. Perfect. Versatile. Nick, you coming over here with the versatile? Or where are you putting the versatile? Are you hooking the versatile up? Oh, oh wait. No, no. The versatile is in there. Oh, I totally forgot. The versatile is in there. We need the 7400. Actually, we're going to put the bale spear on her. And so former Nick, can I run the 7400? And you or James can run the 706. 10 4. Perfect. Thank you. So, guys, we won the 7400. We're really expanding this a lot and stuff. I'm trying not to go crazy new. I know the versatile is pretty much brand new, 2017 and stuff. So, I guess we are kind of new there. I, I, the versatile, it's just, it's tough to get. I was wanting to get a Ford, but there's no good Ford tractor, good model. So, for any of you Ford fans, I apologize, but it's tough, man. There's not that, that many good, like, models out there. Okay, so I'll try using the controller, but it's tough with loader controls. I got to get used to it. Oh, okay. I'll follow Farmer Nick down there. Oh, you need to wait in the back, don't you? Are we going to be able to make yep. it down there, dude? And okay, James. Okay, so guys, we're going to have to combine wheat is ready, right, Nick? Yep. 
Okay, so James, could you get out the... Uh, actually, we got to buy... Can you get out the combine and then hook up and then hook up to the header I'm going to buy it? And maybe you could get like the wagon set up and get started here? Yeah. Okay, we need... Okay, so just get... I guess hook the... I guess we need a grain cart. We need the yeah. gravity wagons. We we have the grain cart. So what are we thinking? Versatile on the grain cart. That'd be cool. Or you could put the 8300 on the grain cart. It's up to you guys. I think versatile. I was thinking 8300 on the gravity flows. Okay, 8300 on the gravity wagons. Versatile on the grain cart. That'll work perfect. Okay, I just need to buy a... Uh, actually, I don't know if we're going to have enough money, but I need to buy a header for the case. And I think I'm going to buy an in-game version. We could get a 45-foot header, guys, but I think that might be a little too big. I could get... Okay, 35-foot or 45-foot header, guys? I'm thinking 35-foot might be... 35. Yeah, 35 foot. Okay. Shoot, it's $46,000. Oh, my gosh, dude. We didn't prepare for this. We just bought all of this equipment. Okay. I think for now... Actually, I'm going to take a... I'm going to leave... I want to take a look. Let's take a loan out. Let's take a loan out. Let's be realistic. Farmers in real life take a tons tons of loans out, right, Nick? Most most farmers, I should say. So we're gonna take it. We're gonna take a little bit of loan out, just a little bit of loan to purchase this header. We should be taking a ton more loans out, actually, to if we want to be really realistic, I guess. But there are some farmers out farmers out there that pay everything cash, I guess. Okay, there we go. I bought the thirty-five foot. So I'll let you hook that up. Get the, you can get the gravity wagons and grain cart all set up and ready to go. While me and Nick, all these bales in that's right i gotta use my controller oh dude this is gonna be a little tough man farmer nick you okay usually i'll, I'll smoke farmer nick in a bale loan contest but man with the controller it might be a little tough now uh where is my nick you get you take all the bales man uh no you sped up the time and i think you lost them what they just disappear i know i sped up the time for a little bit but wow they just disappear like that Oh, okay. Well, I guess we gotta shoot. Do you want to take the F three fifty, and then I'll head over there? Man, I'm looking up here and see if there's more up here. But I had a good chunk of bales in here. Yeah, dude, we had a ton of bales in here. I know there's bales on the other side. I'm gonna get to hauling those bales on the other side over there. Wow, cause we we had a ton of bales in there. Shoot, cause that, we built that all in there too. Darn. There's two down here. There's two down there. Okay, I'll let you get those. Three. I'll. Uh, three okay you want me to come down there and help you yeah okay do they do you think they rolled away or something we gotta get making straw yet too oh dude and guys we're gonna i think next episode we're gonna be getting cows i'm pretty sure so that'll be saturday morning saturday morning farming you heard it here we're getting cows i'm pretty sure okay uh i'll run down there i think okay so you got a bale i can haul two bales you take one bale, because I don't think that little international man. She might have a tough time. There we go. I'll take two up here. Oh, yeah. They're kind of just along here. Oh, and there's another one back there. Okay. I should be able to... Okay, guys. Now, this is with a controller, so I'm just saying it, I'm not going to be not gonna be the best. There we go. I just want to get it right on the edge. It's going to put a lot of weight on the tractor, but for now, I want to be able to lift up. There we go. Okay, I'm starting to get her down a little bit. Oh, shoot. We don't have much room left. I might have to kind of adjust these. I want to try to get two bales here, though. Oh, hey, there's two more down here, Nick. If you want to... Nick, if you want to grab two bales... Oh, I guess you got the... Oh, we got the truck right here. Ah, whatever. Okay, I'll just load up out the truck, and then we'll go grab another one. Nick. Okay, Nick or James. Do we have the three... Do we have a three-point uh, bale spear at all? Bale spike? There's got to be one in farm sim, right? There is, but it isn't really good that I've found. I can't, wow, I can't believe nobody's put it, nobody's put more on farm sim. Okay, guys, this is going to be tough, I'm just saying. Uh, Farmer Nick, are you using controller right now, man? No, nah, keyboard and mouse right now. Uh, okay, keyboard and mouse is probably easiest for loading. Oh, yeah. There we go, okay, see, it's going to, like I said, guys, it's going to be a little, it's going to be a little weird. Okay, Nick, don't push my bail off, man. I can lock the load if you need me to, I guess. You need me to lock it? Just don't put it off. Ew. Okay, don't push her off. There we go. We'll go grab another bale. Dude, you can barely hear the 7400 over that F-350. It's insane. Um, I, I guess I could turn it up a little bit. Could turn the volume up a little bit on that. 
There we go. It's easier when I'm grabbing bales and stuff to do first person, guys. So that's why that's why I kind of do it. Don't you dare take my bail. No, 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 no. Oh, oh shoot. I missed it. Back up. Back up, man. Get away from him. <laughs> oh, shoot. He's got her. He's got her. Okay, I'm going to try to play realistic. I won't. Oh, I heard him coming in. I was like, get away from my bail, boy. Okay, there's one more over here. He didn't see this one, though. Watch him, like, sneak in and take this bail, too. Nah, he can't beat me to her. There we go. Okay, we're uh, with the controller. I'm starting to get it down a little bit. Okay, Nick. Um, since this is the last bale, are there any more bales down there you see? Since Not this down is here that I'm okay, aware of. since this is the last bale, I'll just take it up. I'll just take it up straight there. Okay, so and we're gonna unload them in that. We're, oh, so there's a shed kind of by, back by the pasture, guys. That we're gonna unload them in. Not a shed, but a kind of basically a hayloft back there, where we're thinking of unloading them. So. I'll just pull out of this kind of field here. Dude, the grass grew back already. You guys saw me mow the side hill along here? The grass is already growing back. Oh, man. It's, I guess I did fast forward it a ton. James, are you getting there? you getting ready? you just about ready over there? Oh, yeah. We're getting ready. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, James. I got to ask. Favorite brand? Deer? Case? Holland? John Deere. John Deere. Okay. Nice. Nice. And I think the word is out, guys. Like, I'm, I guess I, I, I probably favor John Deere a ton. So, I guess the, the word's kind of out. I, you guys probably know I like deer. But there we go. We got the case, the case combine. And we got the, it's the old school, the retro edition. I can't wait to use that thing. It, it looks pretty sweet, the retro edition. Okay, so ours is, now we don't own cows yet, guys. But there's cows in here. It's kind of weird. Forgot how to uh, hop out. Okay, there we go. I think. I, oh shoot! How do I open this gate with an Xbox controller? Um. E. Oh, there we go. Thank you. There we go. We'll hop back in here, and I gotta open one more gate to get her in here. There we go. I'm just gonna leave these gates open. I really hope in this next version of this map they get the cows out of here. These these standing cows. Cause the cows still walk around fine. Everything about them works good. They still walk around perfect. There we go. So we're going to be putting the bales in here. This is perfect. This is perfect. Nick put, uh, picked out the spot and it works Works awesome. We'll get the 7400. Get the bales going and then it's wheat harvest time. Wait, the one thing is we don't have any uh, storage. Grain storage. I didn't nah, think we'll about that. we'll fill the wagons up. Okay, we'll fill the wagons up and then... I don't know. I don't want to sell grain yet just because the prices are so unrealistic on this map. I gotta adjust the map. I gotta go into the files and adjust the map. To be, I mean, they're realistic how low they are, but like not for farm sim. Farm sim, they need to be they need to be higher. I feel like. So we'll lower this. Oh, sorry guys, I'm I'm just <laughs> speaking of unrealistic, but I'm just a little crazy there. Okay, Nick, uh, are you driving the 706 up or the F350? Uh, both are in the field. Okay, I'll tab down there and bring one of them up. Man, I gotta, I gotta adjust this loader a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm taking that 350. This is gonna be loud, guys. Why don't I just load you up? Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't even see. Oh, we had. Oh, oh, that's right. We had so many back here yet too. Okay, I gotta. I totally forgot we were even back here. Okay, I gotta tab back over to uh, 7400 and start loading Nick up over there. Can I sneak back through there? I bet I can. I should be able to. There should be kind of a route back across. Oh yeah, perfect. Right here. As long as there's no fence in the way. Oh yeah, we're good. Oh shoot, no, there's something in the way. Darn it. Oh, are we stuck? Yeah, there's a fence here. Oh, darn. We can't get across there. I got to cut through this field. It'll be fine, though. There we go. This map is pretty cool. Pretty realistic through here. Oh, there's a couple bales. Uh, those, those aren't actually real bales, I guess. Darn, there's no way to get back to Nick without going. I thought that maybe there'd be a kind of back way through here, but it looks like there's not. So I'm going to have to go up through the pasture. Or not through the pasture, but through the cow yard up here. There we go. 
and we'll begin to do him. James. James is pretty close to being set up. It looks like over here. He's doing well. There we go. We are just flying through here. Okay, Nick, I'm coming. We'll load these babies up and get going. There we go. Let me get out. Open the door and start grabbing some bales. We need. To, you guys think we need a skill loader at all? I think we got enough loader tractors and stuff. We should be good. It would be nice maybe once we get cows going. Might be kind of nice. Get a skid loader. We borrowed the neighbor's uh, skid steer for uh, putting the bale the gr bales in the barn. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, you guys already started stacking bales? Go check the barn out. Oh, what? <laughs> this barn right here, the old, old school barn. Yep. Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Yep. Yeah, I guess we need something small to get it in there. Yeah, I'll open these doors and I'll check her out. So what? You thinking we need to get a skid loader then? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Oh, dude. Nick is Nick and James are insane at stacking. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. And there's, more farmer was in here helping oh, us. Oh, and more farmer was in here? Okay, yeah. nice. Okay, is that where we're going to put? No. These bales are going to go. I think these bales we're going to put in the other spot where I put my other bale at. I got to close this thing. Huh. For now, I guess, let me try to close this. Oh, I got to press, like, opposite of B. There we go. Now it's closing. Okay, I'm coming out you. We'll keep blowing up. Okay, we're coming in hot. There we go. We should be able to beat Farmer Nick here. <laughs> oh, he's dipping the trailer. Watch out, Farmer Nick. There we go. Okay, here, push them together. Okay, I think we're pushed together pretty good there. There we go. It doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't, my controller, the way I have it set up, it doesn't allow me to reverse and operate the loader at the same time. I need to switch it out so I can do that at the same time. I can go forward and operate the loader at the same time, but I can't, it's tough to reverse at the same time. Oh. There we go. So when when I go into a bale, I'm just gonna swing kind of through it and pull her up. There's Farmer Nick. Nick, how you liking the case, man? I don't know. I don't like this red thing. Here, I can. I guess we can. Yeah, I'll, I can switch you. You want? Oh shoot! It's rolling off. She's rolling off. There we go. Right there should be good. Oh, it's rolling. It's rolling. Oh, get it. Get it. Get her, James. Oh, I think we can get her. Shoot. Here, I can kind of give it a little tap. Yeah, I should be able to give it a tap. I'm going to come in from the... Oh. Okay, here we go. Form Nick, push me. Wool. Okay, there we go. Oh, shoot. My bail's not locked in. Oh, darn. <laughs> I thought we had her. Okay. We gotta do some readjusting here. Oh yeah, let me come in uh, up here. Shoot, it's tough from this angle. I need to do third person to look at this. <laughs> okay. Ah, see, it's tough to back up at the same time. There we go. Let me back up at the same time. Then rotate this up. That's as much as we can till. Okay, I'm coming in here. Here we go. Right about there. You guys are probably all like, squad, you're a noob, man. You're a noob. Shoot, is that not locked in? This is going to be... Don't tip it all over there, genius. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, for some reason, I can't get that bail locked in. Uh, okay, I'm going to use... It's tough. It's tough with okay. If I just use my my key, keyboard, it works a lot better. Uh, it's a lot easier to do this. There we go. Okay, we'll get her here. Man, stay on there. Stay on there. Ah. Okay, let's see if we can relock it right here. If I relock it, 
Ah, shoot. I got to jump on top of here to get this. You got to get the bell. There we go. Or else it won't walk. Oh, that's what it is. It falls over, though. Shoot. Lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it. Oh, I think we got her. I don't know. It might have it might have locked there. It's so much easier. I gotta keep getting used to that controller. Okay, I think we, we somewhat got it there. Okay, we need to go. Nick, are there any more bales back there? Or are there a ton more yep. back there? Okay, yep. I'm on my way over there. Yeah, you turn down now that I'm using just this. We gotta turn down sensitivity a little bit. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's right. You guys. Oh, I remember seeing you guys bailing back there. Okay, we got to get all the way back there then. I'm swinging around. James, you bring the truck around here? Yep. Perfect. James, come right around the, come down the road and come right around to the pig yard. I'll meet you there. We will, dude, let's load this baby down. Let's load it. Wait, Nick, where are the other bales at, man? Oh, wait. Oh, there's, a, there's one more down there at least. It's a race. It's a race. Bum Mulvers. Bum Mulvers John Deere. <laughs> oh, perfect. Look at that. Okay. We're going to pick up this last bale here. We should be good. There's probably a couple. There's, holy squeak. There's probably a couple more bales hiding back here. I bet. No, James. Keep going, yeah. How did you get across this ditch? Drive through it. Oh. There we go. Can't believe the farm all made it through there. Who can lift higher? Oh, oh, dude! Honestly, you can lift pretty high on that uh, that farm wall. Lucky here! Oh, he's getting up there. We should play a game to see how close we can get it from sliding off without it actually sliding off. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! He's sliding. Okay, I gotta, I gotta catch it before it goes. Okay, we gotta pull up. Oh, look at that! Look at that, Farmer Nick beat that man. Oh, Farmer Nick, the loss there. There we go. I can't believe. Okay, we gotta. Oh man, I don't want to lose it now. I, th I have a feeling we're gonna lose this. Oh, this is Jinx sketchy yourself. too. It is so. Okay, here we go. I'll take this row. You take the, you take the row next to me if that's cool. Or are you gonna, let's get this whole bottom area lined up for now. Hey, there James, we go. You mind pulling ahead? Is there no? Hopefully that's strapped down. I think it's strapped down. Good. <laughs> there we go. Nice, dude. The F-350, she's squatting, man. Look at her. The F-350 squatting. This looks sweet. There we go. Okay, we got to get them loaded up. Okay, you know what? I think because I want to get started harvesting on wheat, I think we're just going to keep them loaded up, and we'll take them over there, and we'll load, unload them a different episode or something because uh, it's going to take forever to unload them, so we can just start wheat harvest soon here, too. You coming around here? Here, I'll move the 7400 for you. Where are you going, Farmer Nick? The farm. Oh, you're going to drive all the way back there? Okay, perfect. So, James, just take her back there and park the truck, and then we'll get uh, we'll get on wheat harvest over there. Dude, This is we're just doing so many right. different things in this video. Perfect. <laughs> oh, hey, if you, need, if you need a tug or a little push, let me know. There he goes. Nice. That sounds so cool in that F-350 back there. That sounds amazing. Okay, James, truck. Favorite truck. Toyota, Dodge, Favorite Chevy, truck is a Ford. Dodge. 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 Ooh. There he goes. Okay, I've seen a video on YouTube where some guy was hauling just like same thing as this. He, besides, he had a Dodge. And he was hauling a ton of bales. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. And he was trying to... It was insa He was insanely low down. He was trying to get over a... He was trying to basically get up onto a roadway and stuff. And he needed a tractor. I think it was, it might have been like a 6R or something. It was a John Deere that was pushing him from behind, just trying to get him up there. It was insane. He was like loaded down like crazy. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it was a single rear wheel. It wasn't a dually, but it was a Dodge 3500. It was insane. It was sweet. It was, it was sweet scene on YouTube. 
Come on, follow my Nick. Oh, wait, shoot. We got to turn this up. There we go. We got to turn my hazards on. Hey, our ditches look nice, actually. They're mowed. I'm surprised those didn't grow back at all. <laughs> He's got me off there. Okay, yeah, we'll just park him out front, and then we'll get going on harvest. Okay. I'll run the combine. Well, we can kind of switch off. We can do whatever. We'll uh, we'll switch around a little bit. Let's just get two gravity wagons full. Gravity wagons, combine, and grain cart full for now. And then we'll decide what we need to do for uh, grain storage. And maybe selling. There we go. So for now, I'm going to put the 7400. We'll just put her away, I guess, in the shop. James is pulling around there. Yeah, perfect. Just uh, dude, that looks so sweet. Just seeing those bales. I love the the bale. These bales are perfect too. The the bales that the baler makes because the real in-game ones they're tiny and stuff and they don't look realistic. These ones are awesome. There we go. Seventy four hundred. She's a little dirty yet. We'll put the seventy four hundred right here. Perfect. And we got I guess Ranger Danger. I don't know. We didn't really like the name Fireball. I, I'm thinking Ranger Danger looks a little seems a little better. There we go. James parked the truck over there. I'll jump in the combine and we'll get uh, we'll get started on this wheat. It's gonna take a while for me to get full, so especially with this 35 foot header. So I'll, I'll run out there right now. So this, guys, is the uh, like I said before, it's the uh, just retro edition, which is cool. They just started coming out with this. There we go, farmer Nick or James. Did you grow up on a farm at all? It nah, my uncle he used to um do like just hay grass and stuff like that he didn't really do like wheat and stuff like that oh okay i used to help him out a bunch i gotcha and farmer nick have you guys started har okay i gotta find a way in here farmer nick you guys started harvesting probably in about a week or so if it ever dries up Ooh, you guys getting hammered yeah. with rain right now too five inches in about a week oh my gosh yeah there's rain in the forecast every day here for the next like week or so I made the gateway wider for you. This gateway? No. Or the old gateway? I think when I might be able to fit in... Over. Ah, shoot. I think I might be able... Okay, we're, we might get stuck now. Come on, I gotta get around here. Okay. I should be able to fit in here now. We're kind of jamming her in here. But we should be good now. Ah, we're so close. I think this is meant for a 35 foot header. Here we go. Ah, oh, dude. I had her. There we go. We got through. We got through. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Harvest is starting. Oh, the crops are too wet. It just rained. Darn, we got to let the wheat dry a little bit. Okay, I guess what I'm going to do is we'll just run the clock a little bit. Don't wither it. Oh, we're good. Okay, perfect. We got her. So now it's noon right now. Okay, we want straw, right? Yeah, we definitely want straw. Okay, here we go. I'll start doing the headlands for now. Dude, I think it's yielding. This is yielding pretty good, to be honest. It's actually yielding really well. There we go. We'll run at six mile an hour. We got straw. So eventually we'll have to bail this up into bales. We can actually sell. If somebody really wants, we could. Uh, maybe not. Let's Let's get kind of far. Okay, the grain tank on this does not hold that much, guys. I'm already at 10%. It's kind of quick, actually. I didn't think we'd fill up this quick, because usually wheat doesn't yield that good. But actually, Nick, what do what do uh, wheat yields look like on average? Well, our average field, the field that we did this year, our butter, what was it? Oh, let me think of this. <laughs> I think it so, was like 40 acres. It was yielding close to about 60 an acre. 16 acre so just somewhat close to beans basically yeah somewhere in there and so corn i know here in iowa people uh, doing like 250 even even some like you know when you hear them bragging and stuff close to 300 and stuff uh here in iowa and stuff so corn is uh oh okay we're at 32 percent anyways yeah so beans and wheat are comparable and then corn's just uh crazy for yield wise obviously you don't get uh per bushel isn't anything uh, compared to beans or anything like that so it all, it all works itself out kind of okay 
I'm at 40%. By the time I get to the end of this, we are going to... I'm, I'm probably going to be at like 80% by the time I get to the end of the field down here. So I'm going to need the grain car or a gravity wagons to come run alongside me here eventually. But there we go. This is uh, this is going to be fun. This is I feel like we got a nice setup here. We don't got a crazy nice... A crazy huge combine. We got a pretty nice combine, but we don't have a crazy big combine or anything like that. But there we go. Farmer Nick's running alongside of me. Uh, I think, you know what? This might not be a bad time to unload. Let's do it. There we go. We'll unload. Okay, I'm running at six mile an hour, by the way. Stay alongside me. He's got the versatile. And we got... Was that red or was that green? Did you change the color on that thing to match the versatile? Never touched her. Oh, okay, so maybe we did. Okay, it was red. There we go. We'll stay along here. Finally, we harvest has started. Nice. There we go. Okay, this end, this uh, turn right here might be a little tough. Actually, yeah, we're good. We're empty. Perfect. And so I know in uh, we're talking. So I'm in. I, I'm actually an uh, ag business major at Iowa State and stuff. So I have all these economics classes. We're dealing all with commodity prices and stuff like that. And in South Dakota, if you guys. Yeah, you guys know where that is. Nick, Nick, do you know what's where South Dakota is? I've heard of it. Yeah, okay, because you're from Canada, so you probably don't. Okay. Yeah, anyways, in South Dakota, they're not even taking some elevators. Aren't, if you guys live in South Dakota, some elevators I hear aren't even taking uh, beans right now is the kind of rumor down here. Just because all the grain in South Dakota goes out to the west on the railroad tracks out to China. And as you guys know, we have problems with China right now. Um so right now, what they're doing is the only way to get grain out of there kind of is shipping down the Mississippi, which there's so many different states cl uh, closer to the Mississippi. So they, st they ship it down all the, all the way to the Mississippi to down through Louisiana. And if you think about all the states along the way before South Dakota, you got like Iowa, Illinois along there. You got Michigan, Minnesota all along the Mississippi. So those states kind of get the, I guess leverage or get a sell before south dakota because south dakota's way up uh north and stuff so nor it was south dakota or north dakota it might have been north dakota to be honest but uh yeah it's kind of interesting what's happening with uh china right now but anyways we are at 40 percent now it's gonna get tough along here because uh we're gonna i don't know if we're gonna have room to run a grain cart alongside of me i may have to kind of back up and we might have to stop and unload we'll see though there Cut we go make a little cutout and then yeah that'll work good there. actually yeah that'd work perfect okay so right now i'm using the uh i'm using the controller i switched to the controller this time we'll see i think you may oh shoot i missed a little weed over there i think you might be able to run alongside me still we'll see though it's kind of cloudy not realistic oh what the heck right now it says do not th thresh oh it's raining it's letting me harvest still but it's raining i don't know Okay, as long as they don't shut it off. Really? Over here, it's raining. It's starting to rain. Dude, those are dark clouds over there. Are you guys seeing you guys seeing the sprinkles at all? No. no. Hmm. It says do not... It keeps saying do not thresh when the crops are too wet, but right now, it's still feeding us. I guess we're good for now. This is a big field. What field is this? Did we connect these fields or something? Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. I made the turn. I'm working my way up. Never mind. Okay, I was like, what the heck? Okay, I'm at 75% right now. I think I got to stay. As long as I'm harvesting still, I think it'll let me. But as soon as I pull away and stop harvesting, I bet it, it doesn't let me harvest anymore. We'll see, though. Okay, I'm at 85%. Once I get to 90, I'll start cutting out a little place for us to unload. Actually, Nick, pull up along here. We'll just unload right here. You can pull up into the grass here. This should work good. And I'll stop and we can unload. There we go. And I got to scooch up a little bit. There we go. Nice. Perfect. I guess, so, so some combines, the auger unloads like insanely quick. Some other combines I've had, the, it's insanely slow. This is probably pretty normal right here, I'd say. This unloading speed we got going. Nick, how are you liking the versatile, man? I know you're a deer guy. How are you liking her? It's not bad. Yeah. 
I think it's a it's a cool tractor. And then we got James and Ranger Danger over there just following us behind. Ranger works perfect for this. Okay, I'll keep going. Uh, if somebody wants to jump in the combine, feel free. If anybody wants to. Nick's got her. Okay, Nick, I'll take the versatile. There we go. And actually, you know what? I may soon run up to the 8300 and start unloading in here. I'll, I'll kind of follow you along here. And then one more. Once you get towards the end, we'll unload. And I'll unload into those gravity wagons up there. Yeah, so, well guys, we got the smallest version of the Versatile, the 260, which I think, I'm guessing, means 260 horsepower, but there was a Versatile, let's see, here, I'll show you guys all the different Versatiles we could have gotten. I just went with the smallest, I, th I thought we didn't need anything, like, you know, too crazy or anything like that, but uh, we got the 260, 290, 310, 335, 360, so 360 is the biggest it goes. We, right now, we have the 260, or 260 or 290, 260, so yeah, this is... I th here, let me check. I didn't even check the horsepower numbers, but I think it's only 260 horse. Yeah, 260. So yeah, it's just horse. So 290 is 290 horse. And there we go. You still harvesting? It's. It, I can't believe it hasn't sh like shut you down yet. I'm surprised it hasn't. There we go. What are you at, Nick? 50%? 20%? 33. 33. Okay, I'll follow you through here. We'll unload one more time, and then we got to start getting... This is going to be crazy harvest, guys, because we got... I guess we don't have that many fields, to be honest, but we got to get livestock here soon. Look at James just flying across the field up there. <laughs> okay, um, start cutting a path, and then we'll unload here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I got to reverse. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, I got my grain cart all screwed up back there. Probably shouldn't fall behind so closely to you. Oh, shoot, you're backing up. Gotta square the corner up. There we go. Okay, you got room for me? I'm coming alongside you. There we go, and I guess I'm not even going to hold cruise control. We got this. Oh, shoot. Right there. Okay, you're just going to unload there, and then I'll go and load into those gravity wagons. We should be good. Perfect. We're at, what, 80%. You gotta be done. Okay, there we go. So I'm at 81%. We'll go. Oh, okay. Gravity wagons are just right there. Perfect. All head over there. I don't know the the control to unload with a controller though. I gotta figure that out. This versatile though. I'm liking this. Perfect tractor right here. It's a little small. Like if you compare it to the 8300 and stuff, it's a little. It's a tad small. Shoot, hold on, I gotta get lined up a little bit. There we go, so we got, we had 800 bushels in the grain cart, and now I don't know how much that gravity wagon holds. I think we're gonna fill it up. We'll see though. Yeah, 30%, ah, it's gonna be close. Nah, we'll fill it up. Yeah, we'll fill it up here. There we go, so first one's full, so we're only going until we get these full basically. And then I gotta decide what we gotta do for storage. We gotta find some some type of storage. There we go, and that's empty. Perfect. Okay, gravity wagons are first one's full, other ones yep. like 10% full. Perfect. Okay, guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know. Saturday morning farming. We're gonna keep going ham with harvest, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some livestock here. So if you guys did enjoy it, let me know. Smash that like button. Hey, I'll see you boys later. Thanks for watching, guys.